Holy sheep shit. Look at her. It works, by God. Uh, well, that's what I can tell. Now I gotta, I gotta find documentation or something on this thing and read up. But, I don't know if you can see it there. You can see it. Mm -hmm. I just fired it up because I wanted to see. Uh, I got everything set right. That's why they had it on 220 uh, over. I don't know. <clears throat> but, there you have it. We will play with it. I have got to get. Uh, I gotta figure something out over But anyway, uh, the spool board, well, yeah, straight as your eye. Cause I can tell you it's got a little bit of a sag in it. Just tiny. I can see it. But anyhow, uh, I want the aluminum one. This little bad boy fires up and does what I want it to do. Just move. <laughs> I won't buy the aluminum. It's a T slot anyway. I mean really that's kinda like my very first one, but the very first one somebody took MDF just like that and then put T slots in it. And that made it even work weaker. But this this right here eighty nine bucks cover that, we're good. And apparently I'm guessing that uh factory put the load on the shit, the ball screws uh, nuts and got it all put together because these come uh, assembled on the kit yeah that's awesome we will play with this thing uh, We'll see here in a minute. That's just been I'll have to look. I gotta look it up to see how to operate it. I don't know a thing in the world about it. But it's got setup load files and uh, it's showing that my X, Y, and Z is is doing zero over here on the machine. It says work is X, Y, Z is 170.64, 246.84. Well, <clears throat> when I figure out how to make this Gerbil stuff talk and all the other shit I got going on and I hook the laptop to it, the very first thing I'm going to do is home it and let's see what happens. Yeah, and I need to get wrenches. I didn't get the wrenches for the spindle, but it looks like it's a 13 and a 17, so... We'll see. Peace, y'all.